Right, kids, I know you've just got out of bed, but I'm arbitrarily sending you back to bed at 5 to 11 in the morning. So, settle down and let's read your bedtime story. This night, we're reading Alain de Botton's Religion for Atheist. We're on to the chapter called Books versus Institutions. So let's see what Alain de Botton's got to say for himself. When sceptics and atheists began their results on religion in the late 18th century, they did so primarily through the medium of books. They wondered in print whether a dead man could really roll back a tombstone and make his way unaided into the upper atmosphere, whether a young woman could be immaculately impregnated by a deity, whether battles could be won by the intercession of angels or caraches cured by contact with the shin bone of a martyred saint, in parentheses, Cornelius. And they tended to conclude their arguments by looking forward to the day when mankind might replace its superstition with rationally based ideas of the sort they admired in works of secular science, philosophy, literature and poetry. What's that, Aidan? Decrumplification! You think his name's funny? Why do you think it's funny? I learned the bot on. Crease Annihilation! Well, I hadn't thought of that. Actually, you're right. It does sound a little bit like bottom. Uh, bottom, bottom. Spelled very similarly. Uh, one ends in a m and the other ends in a n. But I wouldn't necessarily say that that's funny, Aidan. I would say it's, it's amusing. It's certainly diverting. And it does cause you to look twice at the name on the book. But it isn't necessarily funny. You know, deliberately misinterpreting a man's surname as bottom instead of bottom. Um, but never mind, feel free to find that amusing, uh, if, if you wish to. Uh, we'll conclude uh, Religion for Atheists with Alain de Botton some other night. Now, hop up to bed, because uh, I've got important things to do, like making videos uh, about Aeonin in the character of Chad Chichester. Textural Irregularities Marvy Richards, Comfy Grip Pro. Hmm. Hello! I'm Chad Chickchester, and I run Chad Chickchester Chicken Chips and Chop Shop, where you get the chickeniest chicken and the choppiniest chops. Today, I'm taking over on an update. And today, I'm all about innovation. You see a lot of things about Ayn and presented by that man off of Ayn and Update. Well, today, I'm going to give you the perspective of the Ayn. Today we're going to get down and dirty with the Morphe Richards Comfy Grip Pro. Sasha Distel. Sasha Distel. Sasha Distel. I'm Sasha Distel. Dehydrification processes. <laughs> First thing we're going to tackle today is a pair of pantaloons, pink pantaloons in the Chino style. And these are in a terrible state of decrumplification. These are in urgent need of being flatified by the Morphe Richards Comfy Grip Pro. So let's get on. Come on, Morphe. Let's do some work. We're taking it down here. And the Morphe Richards Comfy Grip Pro, with its combination of my brute strength, its hot metallic plate, and steam coming out of the little apertures in the hot metallic plate are absolutely annihilating those creases. That was a previously crumpled garment, and it is now in a state of considerable less crumblification. Congratulations, Morphe Richards Comfy Grip Pro. Join us next week when we shall be frying some chicken from the perspective of the chicken's thigh. That was Chad Chickchester on On An Update. You can follow us on the Twitter hashtag On An Update or hashtag Carrier Big Review for your carrier bag related interests. Catch you later and remember, get down to Chad Chickchester's Chicken Chips and Chop Shop. Hing!